Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to me and the boys wrestling. I'm a man that needs no introduction. I'm the dawn. I'm the boss of Prime Kingdom. And as you know and as you can see, we have been on a bit of a tear here lately and we are taking over me and the boys wrestling in dominant fashion. From my consigliere to the enforcer to the wild card to any of our made men. The only thing that has been missing is someone who is undeniably ruthless, maniacal, dominant, fierce, and downright heartless. It brings me great pleasure to finally introduce the First Lady of Crime Kingdom. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Mad Moxie. For the Son of Man is the one who said, Hail Fire. Five, four, three, two, one. You ought to be doing some thinking about where you're going when you leave this world. What you learn in this life is what determines where you go when you die. What does the Bible say? What does the Bible say? You ought to be doing some thinking about where you're going when you leave this world. He'll be dead and gone. He'll be dead and gone. And another generation will come on. Then another generation will come on. Then another generation will come on. What does the Bible say? What does the Bible say? You ought to be doing some thinking about where you're going when you leave this world. What you've done in this life is what determines where you go when you die. What does the Bible say? What does the Bible say? Baptists go to hell, Methodists go to hell, Presbyterians go to hell, Catholics go to hell, Episcopalians go to hell. You ought to be doing some thinking about where you're going when you leave this world. What you've done in this life is what determines where you go. Now after you're done putting your hands together for the first lady of crime kingdom, keep them put together because later on I'll be out to please the crowd and beat down some mystery opponent. The only reason I can think it's a mystery is because the whole roster is afraid. So let me leave you with this boys in the back. Don't be scared homies. Don't be scared. Twenty DNA. If it's in you, it should be on you. Well, I guess you've already been welcomed. Why does he sound like a twelve-year-old with his daddy's microphone? Oh my! If you are just joining us, I'm James Owen Brown, joined as always by my co-host David the Block Terrell, here to tell you that we are going to bring you something that is interesting and well due. This is Crime Pace. Yes, sir. The free purview. Mm. Sponsored by 420 DNA, 420 Designs and Apparel, www.420dna.com. If it's in, it should be on it. Yeah, 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 I kind of went this way, but that way. Either way, uh, you know what it is. Like, we have this pay-per-view. We've been building, uh, this free preview, sorry. And we've been building it for the last several weeks. So we have undergone tyranny. Okay, tyranny. That's all I'm going to say. It's been tyranny since Crime Kingdom has gone from gas into full of to what they are now. And with the latest acquisition, I can't help but wonder if I'm going to have to, you know, add... Female to our mission. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. first lady of the mainstream militia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, we as men don't hit on women. 
get the feeling this is the perfect moment to hit them. So, you know, we must be prepared. Okay. And then slapped up. Why, why did it have to specifically be me? There's like five other guys. Well, any of them, any of them. Well, get slapped up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that being said. <laughs> Let's recap last week. That'll give us some more insight into tonight. Yes, sir. Uh, we saw an eliminator for a shot at a shot at the 12K title where local Lou picked up the win. Yes, sir. Earning himself a spot in a triple threat match tonight against uh, Richie, the American Luchador. And the winner of another shot at a shot, an over-the-top situation where Bristow came out victorious. So. Yeah. Bristow kind of surprised me on that one. He's been in the background a little bit. But, you know, I guess he's come to show that he's trying to be a pro. Yeah. He wants his 12K title back. Yeah. So it's going to be Bristow versus Local Lou versus Richie the American Luchador tonight. Uh, we saw a battle royal that had, you know, very little consequences. Just some guys. Jack the Ripper won. Yep. We'll have a look at him later. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Yeah. We'll see how it plays out. Uh, we saw ABJ take on Jason from the Movie Maniacs uh, faction, and he didn't fare so well. No, no. ABJ got jacked, and that's not really cool because, you know what I mean, my dude is a solid competitor. He's, you know what I mean, had the fair showing in several matches, so for the match to end up the way it did, I mean, I think maybe some more support could be required. Yeah. We'll see if he gets that chance tonight when he's uh, in tag team. Oh, somebody's somebody's going to show up to support the men. All right, let's see who shows up because, like I said, Cricket Control is a five-member band comprised of some talented individuals that practice in Port Colder, hail from there, and you know what? Like, they are on a surf. They just played at the Battle of the Band, so they might be ready for some more competition. Let's see who jumps in. Yeah. We saw DMP take on Phil Shaw and Phil Shaw. Phil Shaw took care of business. Yeah, it was that too. Uh, I don't think so. I think if I want to say it was Paul's count anywhere or something. Yeah, yeah. But like, as a table specialist, you know what I mean? Like, he shows that he has other specialties. Yeah, he's not a one trick pony. Not at all. And then we saw the QLW title on the line and Holden just squash Leatherface Bat. I have to give him that credit. I. I did not expect Leatherface to go down like that. No. I mean, just a dominant competitor. He was actually the first person I saw win a squash match in the game. Leatherface, right? Yeah. Yeah. Put him up against, uh, I want to say, Bo Dallas or Curtis Axel, one okay. of the B team. Yeah. And he came out, hit, I think his end of days, I think yeah. is the finisher, hit end of days, pinned him, and it was done. It was the first time I'd seen it. It can happen. Again. So, yeah. But Holden doing that to him. Karma. That's going to bring us to tonight. We're all caught up. Sure. Those are the things we saw. You know what's coming. We've seen, we've been watching the promo. You know all the matches. And if you missed it, check the playlist at the intro Brown on YouTube. It's in there. It's all in there. Right, so let's dive right here, shall we? Yep. Firing it up now. Use your change. Full screen this bad boy while we have a look at the total points. Crime Kingdom, 60 points. The Healy Boys, 42. Mainstream Militia, 38. The New DX, 38. The Community Light, 26. The Dubs, 23. The Red Outsiders, 22. Public Enemy, 20. Movie Monsters, 18. Poet Society 17, The Dark Side 13, and the comic book villains bringing up the rear with 12. Here we go. We're going to start it off nice with the hell or the uh, three stages of hell. We got stage one's a table map. You hungry? About to eat some wood splinter, suck em. Sorry, that's, that's the case, but it's taken. And I don't want to call you a blow up. <laughs> but here we go. <laughs> Ready to go. Yep, yep, here we go. Drop kick. 
to the chest. Uh, EMP's ready for this. You guys have been going at each other since you guys both got here. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> never it's really stuck. Oh, yeah. What this. is going on here, man? Did you not have enough time in the ring already? The dawn of Crime Kingdom going to stick his nose into Block's business and help out the consigliere. Oh, again, the throat jab. He just hit the... Uh, Silence is golden. I remember. Kiss the ring. Was one. Cement shoes Cement was the sky jack. Yep. The kiss of death. Kiss of death, that's the one. Shoulder block. DMP is not ready for me. The block's up, though. I'm prepared tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, DMP powering up. If he ends up going through a table at any point here tonight, we might be able to look back enough. at this moment as the beginning of the end. I wonder if that distraction from uh, Holden Rhodes maybe distracted DMP a little bit. The splash definitely did. The consigliere. Not necessarily benefiting from the help of the dog. Do you call that the culture splash? The like splash it. of culture. Yeah. He's bringing it back Whatever inside the ring now. It. I like culture splash. Culture I think splash, that's pretty yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, culture splash is nice. Oh. I wasn't expecting Ooh. that. DMP not giving up. Oh, oh he's got that yeah. hurricane. I think we know what's going on there. The oh, no, the 6-1.3. Six six one one he, he almost went to his dark place. Yeah. The nerves when uh, when he's standing out there, it's got to be rattling. Watching at home, hoping your guy doesn't just stand there. We've seen him do it multiple times. Wow! So angry, punching the tables. Oh, speaking of punching the tables, the block party is going to be set up June twenty fifth here at a secret location. Do you hear that thud? Yeah. At the Me and the Boys studio. Well, you never know. Oh here. Just muscling that big man around. Yeah, it's not easy, but I make it look that way. We're going to set up a table here. Yeah, he might be in a situation. Oh, behind. Oh. Oh, not the table down. That was close. Yeah, that could have broke it. DMP going to set up the table now. Trying to get up. All right. Definitely not Simon's where you carry. want to be right now. Block it away from the table. Snake eyes. Who just do that on the table? <laughs> you know what I mean, though? I don't get it. Sometimes like it's just, oh, oh. Launch just Knocks the table down in the process. And we go for the uh -oh. culture smash. DMP's red. Got to be bruised by now. Oh yeah, he's all in the red. Oh, oh. oh got punch. Got well, punch. EMP not done yet. Oh, is he? Although the block part. Set to have several talented artists performing, including Fury. Guy heard that. I love that guy. It's awesome. So um. Yeah, we got DMP laid out. We're gonna He's in big trouble. just toss him over one more time. Just a good measure. Bailey to belly. DMP wisely rolls out of the ring. Share the shock. Oh, he only did it twice? Yeah. That's not enough to get the crowd going. No. I didn't even get to do the share the shock. That's it. It's good, though. You got to stay focused on the match. Yep. Uh oh. Something big is coming. That was something. What went on there? Crowd loves it. They must have been playing their moves, like right here. That kid in the front row loves it. Yeah. Yeah, they were probably calling the spots. Yeah, here it is again. And then go to the stairs. Okay. He caught him slipping. There you go. Oh, jeez. Into the ring. the ring. Table set up. He rolled right through the table. You saw that. I might have those... Um, yeah, you got heartbreak jizzle knees. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> Rolled right through the connection point. Oh, man. Oh, boy. This is not good. Oh, wow. Just a disrespectful fold-up powerbomb. He didn't even... He could have done a quarter turn and just put him through the table, but no. There he goes. He's set over the ropes. Oh, following behind him. 
Yeah, that's what we're saying. All fired up for the crime pace free purview here. Yeah. We got the three stages of hell. Best two out of three. Yeah. We'll see if we need that third stage. Brought to you by Fault Funny DNA. Com. If you haven't joined our Facebook group yet, do that. Me and the boys wrestling on Facebook. Some things get revealed in there that you wouldn't see otherwise. Indeed. You really got to stop calling the spots like that. The people in the front row can see. Mm. DMP may be going to that dark place. Yeah, usually when he starts using the environment to his advantage. But we can do that too. There was a wrinkle revealed in the Facebook group for a, uh, a repercussion for a tag match happening later for the quarantine titles. Merz Frazier said that if Crime Kingdom takes their belts, that he would join Crime Kingdom. Oh, wow. Belly back. Quarter turn. Yeah, that's definitely a caveat. Yeah. It's only revealed in the Facebook group. Yeah. You can see character profiles. You can see the trash talk. It's all going down in that Facebook group. See, now that right there was supposed to be the spear off the ropes. Yeah, you're probably right. How many finishers you got saved up? I think you need one and a half or something. Oh. Well, here he goes. Oh, oh my God. almost went through the announce table. But we'll try again. Punch to the back. Come on. Where are we going? I'm going to throw you straight ahead three feet. Yep. On the table, then plating. Just do something. Then we're we going to do the spot where I just wait. Oh, oh my gosh. On the edge of the table. That's got to hurt. Right on that me and the boys announce table. Look at that. That's custom. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Position. Into the barricade. Me and the boys wrestling. That's the only place you're going to see this kind of action. It's intense. Over. WWE 2K20, the most glitched game in the history of games to hold these matches. And it's, uh, it only adds to the hilarity. Yeah, over 40 personalities? Huh? Yeah. International personalities at that. Yeah, we're, uh, we're worldwide. We got people from all over America, people from the as far away as the UK. Yeah. Just beginning. And of course, a lot of Southern Ontario. Indeed. We got uh, Alberta, I believe. Yeah. This is quite the match. Yeah, these guys are really going at it here. Back and forth, calling the spots, glitching out all over the place. It's a war. Longer than I intended it to go, but you know, got to wear them down. Just looking at each other in disbelief and mutual respect. Oh, neckbreaker. I want to see somebody get speared through that barricade. I know it can happen. That would be amazing. Especially if it was him on the receiving end. Yeah. I'm allowed to be biased in this match. No, you know, I'm a little <laughs> biased myself. I'm over here with no faction, no no points or nothing. <laughs> oh, and this guy's out here, a made man. Like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll take some of that energy and use it to, you know, counter some of this attack. I'm standing there high and dry, holding the back. <laughs> yeah. <it's, laughs> that kind of sucks when you think about it. Yeah, it's not ideal. It's like things need to be restored to a point of order. Well, I mean, there's a, uh, there's a discussion to be had. Let's see how this free preview goes. Maybe the tide will sway a different direction, but it's called Crime Pays, so. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, DMP placed on the table. It's looking like we got a belly. Wow, Bailey to belly suplex through the table, and DeBlock's going to win the first stage of three stages of hell. See, once I heard it was a table match, I had to start training with my boy, Mr. Mumbles, a.k.a. Phil Shaw. Yeah. I mean, a table specialist. And, uh, but this right here, this is not this is not a friendly move. No. Like, two boots to the mush. And you still got to fight. Yeah. You still got to fight later after taking two boots to the mush. Culture splash. I like that, the culture splash. That's yeah. good. 
They got the algorithms right. Belly to belly. Through the table. One up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Share the shot. Share the the shot. Share the shot. Share the shot. shot. .ca. Check it out. Where you will see this free preview. Live. Well, well, live in a sense. It'll be there in some capacity. You know what I mean? Are you doing an extra shimmy? You want to save some of that energy? Shake, bro. Shimmy and shake. All right, here we go. We're going to kick off the uh, this faction war. We got Aaron DeWolf taking on Two-Face of the comic book villains. Aaron DeWolf representing the, uh, the, the new DX. Starting it out this the ring, jumping control. into the ring. I don't like the looks of this. I don't either, Corey. Not right. I'm excited for this. This is a bunch of matches we've never seen before. We're going to see the uh, the new DX tag team in singles action, which is always fun. Here comes the super hyper mega duplex West. <laughs> Boom! Oh, that's a backbreaker. Gonna bring him in the hard way. Now it looks like he's setting up for something. Oh boy, he looks ready. Aaron DeWolf, another one of our uh, cast members here, roster members that has uh, in-ring experience. He's uh, wow, just like that. One. These are brawls, so just basically knock a man unconscious. Yeah. And it took him what three moves? Give or take. And that's that's gonna good. that's gonna give the new DX a uh, a needed head start in this faction war. Here is your winner, there he is, Sten Tall. But yeah, he was on the uh, the Lions Den show that CWF does. He's uh, making his way up the ranks at CWF. So an actual in ring performer. What a way to kick off tonight! Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. I envision big things for him here at me and the boys wrestling. He's excited. Yeah. Crowd loves it. Here we go. There it is. We got an Extreme Rules tag match. Oh, snap. That's who joined him. Ladies and gentlemen, the rhythm guitarist for Crooked Control. It looks like Brandon Peets has joined me and the boys wrestling, and he's taking up Umbridge with Pennywise. Oh, the... What are we going to call it? The rhythm slam. Yeah. Look at him, he's happy to be here. Yeah. He's all fired up. First move is very impactful. I wasn't sure what to call him when they do the entrance, so I think it's uh, primetime. Primetime Brandon Peets. Okay, okay. <laughs> like, ah, that sounds okay. Yeah, that fits. Oh. If you're uh, not happy with your guy, let me know. I can fix some things. Your hair's a bit yellow. Pennywise with the... Oh, man. What do you want to call it? The wise guy. Sure. Oh, oh, wow. Shit, Michael Myers. Look at that presence of mind from the newcomer. And then... Wow. Hold on a second. That move was... That was not your regular angle slam. Would you look at that? Boom. Michael Myers really upset. Holy snap. That match was quick. Power bomb. I mean, the rhythm slam. Wow, that, I'm, I thought I was going to have more time to talk about the band and their endeavors. They are going to be playing June 25th at the Culture Shock Community Cookout, a uh, location to be revealed to those interested by contacting info at shareltheshock.ca or Freddie Fame. Um, but yeah, yeah, that was pretty good debut. Yeah. It's nice to see ADJ get some backup over here. It's been a bit of a, it's been a rough couple of weeks for the man. Yeah. But here we go. We got Crooked Control, and I have a feeling if two out of the five of Crooked Control are in here, maybe the other three may want to uh, hop on board. Who's got the better Crooked Control shirt? I realize I didn't make them the same, but I kind of like uh, Brandon's better. Yeah, uh, it depends on, you know what I mean? Like, that's more professional. That's more kind of recreational. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, so. Okay, we got the second match out of the best of five with Bristol against 
Apocalypse. Yeah, some of these guys know Sludge. And I don't know why the brawls start with one guy in, one guy out. Like, what are we doing? And they're supposed to be backstage brawls. <laughs> yeah, where's the backstage? You need to Oh, maybe because it's a custom ring. Maybe. Maybe that affects the backstage. Yeah, that could be. The big boot. Yeah, uh, Bristow putting the boots to Apocalypse. I still haven't gotten Bring into the arena for the thing. Once you told me you can adjust every individual light, it was overwhelming. Oh, I mean, the same with the characters. Like, you don't have to. Yeah, you I know. You can, like, pick a template and of run course. with it. But... There's a lot of things I don't have to do, but I do, though. <laughs> <laughs> Just to figure out how it works. Anyway. I screwed one up. I had, uh, I added, like, a, a light filter or a fog or something. And when I'm watching the matches, it just looked like the... There was no spotlights on the ring, so the ring just looked like the crowd. This does not look like it's going to end well. Sweet dreams and nightmares! Wow. Oh. I didn't know Bristow could do that. I didn't know he had it in him. The power of the man. I guess he'd be nuts after all. Keep an eye on uh, on Bristow. He's got some... Bristow breaker. Oh, he's got great music coming out. He's doing something about bullying, and I'm excited to hear that. He's actually got an event August 27th. His annual, second annual the, cookout. The cookout, yes. Yes. So in Niagara, there's three back-to-back -back festivals. Oh. oh. The shoe shine. The shoe shine. I'm gonna stand this man back up. Oh wow. Oh. That is apocalypse, I mean. <coughs> you couldn't expect to come in here and just run rampant all over That's apocalypse. He just got grabbed by the back of the neck. Oh my God. This is not augur well for the new DX right now. Oh, so August, the weekend of August 13th, it's gonna be the Culture Shock Community Cookout and other events. And then the weekend of the 20th of August, it's going to be the Lila Walla Festival at Fireman's Park, and then the weekend of the 27th is going to be Bristol's event in, I want to say Ridgeway. But that sounds right. Yeah, I believe it's Ridgeway. So, um, if you and Niagara, you want to check those out. Good food, good music. Yeah, good people. Do the thing. No right now, though, we got Apocalypse squaring up with Bristol. Apocalypse trying to even the... Uh, the count right now, one nothing. New DX. Look out! Yeah. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Ring. No chagrin. Bristol has him up and throws him back into the ring with ease. Is that a powerful move, throwing somebody in and out of the ring? Well, it's a display of force, really. When you can move someone beyond the ring, oh, wow. beyond their own will. He's playing uh -oh. with it now. Set him up. Looks like. Yeah. To the mid section. Here we He's go. Ready for the shoe shot. That's going to do it. Back. Kicks him right in the back of the head. Sends Apocalypse to uh, his end of days. Sure. Look at that. Sends Apocalypse to Dreamland. That's where I was going for. There we go. Disappeared from my brain. Bristow standing tall, going to pick up another point for the new DX, and we're going to see him later in a triple threat for the uh, 12K title. Doing double duty. Yeah, man earned himself a spot by winning that Rumble. If you if you got to do double duty, that's what you got to do. You also got to represent your faction. Of course. It all started with uh, Chris Chaos mixing it up with the Joker way, way back in his debut, and the Joker had some boys come out. And here we go, speaking of that. Yeah. Got the Joker looking dapper with Chris Chaos looking serious about his business. 2 nothing, new DX. This could be it right here. Chris Chaos with the uh, potential to win this for his faction right here and now. That suplex is one of the nastiest <laughs> ways to land high on your back. Yeah. You broke your collarbone. Easy. Chris Chaos breaking the Joker's collarbone. And did before breaker that connects. neck breaker definitely stirred some pain. You're only gonna see that at me and the boys wrestling. Ooh. Like a Ricky Steamboat oh, style chop. Away. Yeah. Oh. Woo! Just toss. Just chaos wrestling this match. Yeah. 
Oh, Joker though, standing his ground. Oh, the Joker's no slouch in there. Oh. Gotham <laughs> Gotham <laughs> legs. I was gonna say, yeah. yeah. Oh. I almost I was gonna say Gotham Russian leg sweep, but that doesn't make any sense. The Gotham Gotham rounding? The Arkham leg sweep? Arkham leg sweep, yeah. Not bad. That that sounds official. Might not matter in a few minutes here. We'll see how uh we'll see how this match plays out. Oh. He rolls right out of it like a pro. Now these guys went at it so hard that uh, other faction members got involved. There's a one-on-one -on -one contest between Apocalypse and, guys. I want to say, Chris Chaos. And the whole New DX faction came out to support. Yes. And uh, right Apocalypse still was able to first. pick up the win. But you can't fight a team on your own. No, so Chris Chaos shows Neither up with all the boys, and now we got ourselves here. a slugfest. Yeah. Ooh, with right on their face. We're going to see the Stroop take on Shane later. Oh boy, that's Finally. been a long time coming. Yeah, long time coming. We're also going to see in our main event, speaking of a long time coming, self-proclaimed King Gale going to take on actual king. My dude. King Champ TV. King Champ. Me and the boy's title will be on the line. The crown will not be on the line. Okay, okay. We'll remind everyone Gale has a money in the boy's bank satchel case bag. Basket. And, uh... The other one held by Jube Electra. Ooh. And we have the potential for a triple threat match tonight, don't we? We have the potential for a lot of things. I also know the uh, the only heels title will be on the line. We're going to see Cody Harris in action. Okay. okay. Cody Harris definitely, I wouldn't say fading to the back a little bit, but he's enough in his uh, pursuits, but still maintaining his reign as champion. He, went, he saw the top of the mountain. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my boy. God. Pendulum uh, backbreaker. Big backbreaker from the Joker. Yeah. It's not looking good for uh, Chris Chaos here. We're going to see Holden Rhodes later take on a mystery opponent for the QLW title. Yeah. Uh -huh. Could be anybody. There's so many people who would love a shot at that man. Oh, yours truly included. This is not good for Chris Chaos as he gets spun over the ropes. This has been a bit of a war. It was all Chris Chaos at the start, and now the Joker's kind of made his way back into this. Damaging DDT. Wow. That's the kind of DDT that puts a man out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just stop just his chest. The chest. Let's see what kind of, uh, see what kind of grit Chris Chaos has here. Last laugh. Wow. Oh, boy. And the next snap was not looking good. It does not look good for Chris Chaos. Oh boy. Joker sent Chris Chaos up with an overhand club. Just clubbed him in the back of the neck. That was brutal. The punchline. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh my god. He's going to the top rope, ladies and gentlemen. Joker doesn't go to the top rope. No. He's kind of perched there like Batman. He's waiting. <laughs> oh, jump down. I guess it was a, like a joke. In control here with a uh, not a joke, though. The swinging neck breaker from Chris Chaos. I was about to call that move the smoke signal, whatever it was. In the hard bring way. Joker in the hard way. Yeah. Chris Chaos coming back uh -oh. with a vengeance. Another... Neck breaker. He's really going after the neck. Yeah, a bit of a rude awakening. Oh, he's got his legs. Swinging. The big swing. Chaos Force wins? No, uh, we already did Gale Force wins. Chaos Control? The Winds of Chaos? Winds of Chaos, yeah. Oh, he's going to the top rope. We've seen this before. He is going. Oh, not. Whoa. <laughs> moonsault. We definitely have not seen that before. That is a first. We've seen him on the top rope before. Yeah, take a minute. Let him know. Yeah. What's it going to take to put the Joker down? Stop to the face of hell for sure. For a second time. 
Oh, Deskis. Punch. Oh, boy. He's going back up to the top. After Sweet Dreams and Nightmares, the Frog Splash. What's it going to take to keep this man down? Oh, here we go. We're about to find out. Is this his finisher? Very slowly setting this man up. Another swinging neck breaker. Uh, the shake, rattle, and roll almost. Yeah. Just the roll. <laughs> oh, the leg drop from Joker. Both men down to nothing on their power bar. This has been a war. Collar elbow tie up. Chris Chaos getting the better of the two. Just tosses Joker like he's nothing. Like he's yesterday's garbage. Absolute he's disrespect. Oh, the backbreaker. High on the neck suplex, actually. He's really using those high impact moves to try and knock this man out. Yeah, I'm surprised. Oh, bionic elbow. That he's still conscious. Yeah. Is he going back to the top? He is. I mean, Chris Chaos, impressive in the ring, but on the top rope, stellar. And that is the end of it. Big Frog Splash finally somehow knocks the Joker unconscious. <laughs> yeah. Those body shots. You know, you gotta, they'll knock you out. Yeah. I guess. They can. You get hit in the liver or kidney enough times. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Although his neck was probably already broken. In two places. Change of direction mid-air. Yeah. Super athletic. Yeah, well, there it is. The comic book villains have officially lost this and will be leaving. We are still going to see Heartbreak Jizzle and Team Money Gang in action because, uh, you know, we advertised that. But this faction battle is uh, a joke and it's over. Officially. <laughs> the comic book villains will be, they'll be inserted in a year fired rumble and we'll see what happens. Somebody could stick around. We just hit the mercy rule. But the Only Heels Facebook group post of the week is brought to you by... Da -da 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 -da. James Owen Brown! Would you look at that! I had the most likes. Classic Warrior Perfect. Booby the Brain Demolition and Big Papa Pump. Meteorologist just for the mid-80s. Me and the boys. Flexing. Wait a minute, you mean that's not Demolition with the Hardy Boys, Hulk Hogan, and the Ultimate Warrior? Sure. Okay. Cody Harris, The Block, Holden Rhodes, Louis Strange, Mike G. Cell, DMP, Gale, Tommy, Merz, Fraser, and The Stroop are now in this 10-man Royal Rumble. For the Only Heels title. Woo, boy! This is about to be a fun one. Now, if you're in the group and you were uh, not in this mix, my apologies. There's too many now for a 10-person, but not enough for a 20. So it's it's awkward numbers. I'm not in it either. I'm in the group. Um, I had post of the week. You did. That should have been an automatic title shot. What is going on around here? So post of the week is an automatic. I thought we decided that was a title shot. Crime <laughs> Kingdom has really hijacked the whole formula. It's unbelievable. What are we doing? Well, we're having a Royal Rumble anyway. Definitely. The only it. heels title is on the line here. Who are we starting with? Okay, Mers and Itami. Hashtag free Itami. Oh, speaking of which, here he goes. The spinning. Oh, what do we call that? Uh, damaging Destroyer. Sure, because, I mean, it's redundant. Itami likes that kind of stuff. <laughs> Oh, he's all fired up. up the crowd. He's got a chance at gold here. Yeah. Or Puce or whatever color that belt is. Uh, to say the least. Like a light blue. <laughs> Alloy? No. <laughs> kind of rolling Merz Frazier around. Oh, here comes Gritty of Gritty and Pretty Mike G-Cell. Mike G-Cell, yes. No stranger to these hands. Oh, Merz getting his arm twisted out of joint. He's got a match later. He's going to need that arm. Mm -hmm. Especially if he's going to use the coffin closer effectively. Yeah. Oh, wow. We're going to see how this plays out. Like, these guys are got... I feel bad when you get a bad draw like this. Yeah. Here come on. First, second, third. Holden Rhodes, the QLW champ, somehow managing to weasel his way into this match. He's in the only heels group. Weasel. 
As always, the uh, the only heal stuff is a little bit out of kayfabe and context, just to keep things fair for that side of things. Yeah, within kayfabe, because Mares and Holden are after each other. They went right after each other. Right and wait. So if it's online, it might be in line. High knee. We've got another one coming in here. What would happen if Maris Frazier had to join Prime Kingdom? Oh my gosh, that's a good question. There's a block coming in at number five. Sliding in. One. Oh, almost swung on Maris. Maris swung on him. <laughs> DDT. Maris like, what are you doing? He must have saw that mess. Oh, this is not good. Tommy hit a Frankensteiner, and now it looks like, uh... Oh, 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 Merz is about to toss me out of the ring. Oh my god. Wow. First one eliminated. That's, that's not good. Merz might have a problem with me all of a sudden. <laughs> yes. Yes, I think there's officially a problem with me and Merz. Alright, Gale coming in at number six. Holden and Gale in the ring at the same time. There's Merz. We got, like... One half of the uh, tag team triple threat from later. Mm. Look at Gale going right after Holden. Did you see a Tommy and his? Look at this Gale oh, teaming up with Merce. Hey. To throw out the Dawn. Wow, that might create problems. I can see that maybe being an issue later on. Merce somehow avoiding punches. And uh, Mike G Cell and Atomi just going at it really hard in one of those styles that makes me think we should maybe set up Mike G Cell versus Atomi. Bro, you did not see the loop de loop. Like, he did a backflip into a DDT. Oh, wow. Yeah. Here comes Local Lou. Gonna insert himself into this mix. Oh, man. Tossed into the corner by G Cell. Thank you, Gritty. Fending off the elimination here. This is an elimination oh, for sure. Now you've seen it up. Gail uh, letting the crowd know. Tom going for his first elimination. I mean, if, you're, if you're watching and you have the ability to go check out a Rattlesnake's show, go do it. I, I don't know how you would do that. But uh, you could join their Facebook group. That would probably let you know. That's not going to hurt. Sometimes there's videos posted in there. They're a dynamite cover band from over in the UK. Here comes Cody Harris. The ter world terabyte champion. Yeah, the current champ. Going oh, right for Gritty. Trying to make quick work. Cody Harris going to stand up Mers. Oh, she's on the ropes. Looks like Merz is helping. Oh, we could have. No, Merz is getting thrown out too. We got, we got stereo attempts. DMP coming in at number nine. That's a nice pull for DMP. Yeah. Local Lou going to pick up Gale. Carry him over to the corner. Oh, the knee punch. Saving both. Uh oh. G Cell's in a rough spot. Uh oh. You can see Glieri, though, kind of uh, got in the way of Atami and saved G-Cell. Yeah, yeah, doing his job. Gale in there. We got three members of Crime Kingdom in there. This is not good for everybody else. Gale, G-Cell, DMP. Merce! We are going to have a new champion, ladies and gentlemen. Merce just eliminated Cody Harris. Wow. The shoot coming in at number 10. You're going to have a, a second ever world terabyte champion. Cody Harris just upset with himself. He's living on the outside. And there goes Murs thrown out by uh, one of the made men. A Tommy gone. Wow. Oh my goodness. Local Lou just got distracted from Gale. Oh, Stroop and DMP tosses. Wow. I guess it was inevitable that they would have to uh, eat each other near the end here. Yeah. The Stroop gonna... Oh, wow. Eliminated. <laughs> DMP makes short work of the Stroop who got a bit too close to the ropes. Jiso. Oh. oh. Louie just demanding his dollars. Yep. No strangers to each other. Oh, Jiso have was... Uh, I feel like he set that up. Yeah, that dropped Like he was standing near the ropes yep. to to entice Lou to go after him. Lou went after him, and then he got dropped toehold. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Now again here, these guys not working together because it's every man for himself. And uh, they all want a cut of the pie. Dollar suplex. Local Lou Bolson in the corner. Everybody wants to wear gold here, me and the boys wrestling. Elbow. Oh, reversal. EMP yelling out something. Reversal. Kick to the gut. Oh, Local Lou with the face of the DDT. Wow. We've seen him in a bunch of matches with that. Yep. Oh. We've seen Lou and DMP have a bit of a war. What are those birds out there? Some kind of bear. Um, uh oh. oh local letdown. Oh, we haven't seen that in a while. This is an over the top situation, though, know, so you, know, you got to get that man up off the ground. Which is no short order. Close by. Local Lou holding in there against both members of Crime Kingdom. Yeah. Right. Eventually, it's going to catch up. Healy Boy representatives. Yeah. Stand his ground. Healy Boy's making all sorts of noise sitting in second right now in this faction war. Yeah. Oh. Big boots. <laughs> That's it. Divide and conquer. Yeah. Out oh, here. Local Lou has DMP on the ropes. DMP fighting. Fighting! <laughs> Gets out, clobbers him in the back. One of these men gonna walk out of here with the terabyte championship. Possible elimination, Corey. Well, More like a definite elimination if you ask me. Standing back so G so can do his work. Well, crucifix for crucifix, uh -huh. nicely done. Yeah, probably shouldn't put those two words together, but I did. <laughs> Local Lou wiping his feet off on the mat. Oh, here comes the three amigos. Of the andale, andale, arriba! Again! That's two! And perhaps a try. Giselle okay. taking a beating. He's been in there since number three. Yeah. Oh. I don't know what that was. Like a twisting DDT? Yeah. Brain robber. Oh, he's setting something. A big punch. And there's the local letdown one more time. Still, though, you got to put the man over the top rope. Oh, put one down long enough to deal with the other. Yeah. Oh, my Giso is looking like he's getting the better of local loot. Wow, down to two Crime Kingdom members. Crime Kingdom's going to have another title. Oh, my goodness. The legs. They have the chance to leave here tonight with every title at me and the boys wrestling. Well, that could Who set this up? How did this happen? I don't know, man. We gotta talk to the booker, man. <laughs> oh, winding punch! Wow. When you wind it, the more times you go around, it increases the power exponentially. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Here we go, guys. Elimination coming up. Oh no! It looks like Gritty is on his way to seeing the title pretty. Wow! Mike G Cell. The new only heels champion, the world terabyte champion, another belt for Crime Kingdom. After receiving the basement DDT that just rocked him. The Don Holden Rhodes was saying all these guys were made men and it's turning out to be accurate. Who ever believes what he says? I know. But here we are. Mike G Cell can't believe it. Yeah. Somehow, neither can Let's I. Let's not overcomplicate things. This business is simple. But wait a minute. Since I was the last person to beat him, doesn't that mean I'm in line for a shot? I mean, did you have post of the week? <laughs> you said earlier. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that that's what you I said. I did say it. Okay, so we got another... We got another match here. The Hell in a Cell triple threat tag team match for the quarantine league championship. Quarantine chaotic. tag titles. And it's in a cell. Yeah. Holden and Gale versus Showtime and Brickhouse versus Johnny and Murs, the Jungle Boys. Yes, sir. Now, Showtime and Brickhouse, relative newcomers who kind of uh, stole one from the new DX and uh, made the. I mean, they earned their way here, but that match against New DX was super quick. Yeah. Again, a celebration of the end. Oh, Showtime just dropping the knee in the back of the Don's neck. I don't know why I refer to him as that. He's just... The American gangster holding ropes? Yeah, the American gagger holding holes. 
Um, now, so Merce Frazier said that if Holden and Gale took the belts from them, he would join Crime Kingdom. This was said, yes. I just can't bear down on the idea of Holden having a title, let alone two. Well, two belts, Rhodes? Two belts, Rhodes. That's just yeah, that's a bitter thing to say. Holden, Holden, wait. Yeah, hit wire. He'll be holding two belts. Yeah. I know from experience, two belts are happy. Yeah. Oh. That's a big slam. Now, is this an elimination or is this no, triple this is, threat? Uh, yeah, triple threat. One fall. One fall wins it all. Hell in the cell, so no rules. Whew. Nobody started with any finishers either. This was just. Oh, wow. Made out of the ring, but <laughs> what was that? Oh, the chicken wing. Johnny's in the chicken wing, but Merz breaks it up. Throws him towards the ref and then just leaves him for showtime. Oh, oh. <laughs> the showstopper. He just got hammered with that. Now Brickhouse back up. With the delta grip. Oh, backstabber. Backstabbing. Merz short time got a finisher save. Got here. He's going to pick the bones on Johnny Armani. Oh, we can call it the front man. Oh. That was in the coffin closing. That was final nail. He's going to pop hold him a couple of times. <laughs> and just power snap. Now he's going after Gale. Elusive yeah. movement there. Thanks to the John Buckle. Here we go. <laughs> Johnny's taking care of business in there. <laughs> Back elbow. No. Oh no. Merz just got clobbered with Shaved over. Hey, he's gonna kick out. The intestinal fortitude. Integrity. Johnny going for a pin on Holden. Oh, Gale breaking that up. Ow. Flying that breaker. That break house. Oh, Johnny got caught going for that double drop kick. Got stomped in his groin. Ouch. Mars hooked into the ropes. Pop up. Choke grab. Oh my gosh. That choke slam staggered the referee. Gotta call that the subtle decision. The showtime goes in for a pin to pick the bones. And gets the win. The Red Outsiders, Showtime and Brickhouse, have won the quarantine titles and Holden Rhodes is beside himself. Oh my goodness. Holden Rhodes basically gave the title up to the Red Outsiders by not covering. Yeah, he should have covered Merz. Oh man, look at this right here. The showstopper. That is nasty looking. And then Brickhouse sliding into the ring. So I guess Mers doesn't have to go to Crime Kingdom because Holden and Gale didn't take the belts from them. So, yeah, that's that's a technicality. Oh, twist of fate. So he'll be happy about that at least. But yeah. in the meantime, we have new quarantine champions, Showtime and Brickhouse. Just a, a subtle disrespect. They'll be excited. Big night for the Red Outsiders so far. ADJ and Brandon Peets pick up a win. Showtime and Brickhouse pick up a win. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. At the risk coming of getting up. ahead of myself, Rosie. if this guy yeah, keeps coming on matches here. like that, we better reserve some room for him in the Hall of Fame. New champs. Wow, Standing yeah. tall. Here we go with a match that uh, essentially means nothing because the, uh, the faction war is already decided, but let's watch it anyway. T Money Gang versus. Because it's fun to see these comic characters and it's fun to see Heartbreak Drizzle and T Money. Yes, sir. They have good finishers and they use them a lot. A lot. <laughs> and they get them quick too. Yeah. The pedigree and the, the sweet chin music into the, the tired ass cover. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh, I'm so exhausted from throwing super kicks that I just fell into this man. Oh, spinning back elbow by Thanos. This man's trying to uh, kill half the planet to save the resources. T Money Gang's like, you shouldn't do that, bro. Yeah, yeah. Again, stomped in the process. Thanos must disagree. Yeah, Thanos is a beast, too. Thanos and Apocalypse were the two strongest of the uh, comic book villains. Yeah. 
probably throw their weight around eventually in a year fired battle royal. Back in from the floor. Now, if you remember back, Two Face survived a uh, a year fired battle royal. Yep. So I don't know if that makes him a favorite or the odds are against him because he's already done it before. Look at this. Oh, that's a good point. I'm not sure. Uh oh. Mm. Like he's not due. No. <laughs> that doesn't feel oh, accurate. Oh. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Wait Kick a minute. to the gut and the pedigree. Wow. Why that doesn't affect the head more is Here beyond me. Oh, again. he just goes straight for it. The second one. Oh Gee, God, money gang. I can't believe it. He Finishing the Thanos in impressive fashion. He didn't need the gauntlet or nothing. Nope. T-Money Gang should join the Avengers. For real. If they had him, it probably wouldn't take him to Endgame. If you're still keeping track, that's 4 nothing for the new DX over the comic book villains. There's nothing more pure than picking up a Not even a contest. One -on -one no. fight. Wow, now that match was a treat. I really tried to do the four-on-four four Survivor Halloween Series, but it just blue-screened me every single time. <laughs> I want y'all to take note, because when we use the new engine, if that happens, you're going to hear it. Oh, yeah. Straight cash with a dollar sign attached. Like T-Money Gang. Here Bruh. we go. False so, count anywhere. Shane versus the Stroop. And obviously their uh, feud has been uh, well-documented here. Shane having to go all the way through the whole cast go, of Star Wars False to earn himself a shot at the Stroop. He didn't make it all the way through. The but no then the Stroop attacked him, and we're like, well, this is pay-per-view worthy. <laughs> yeah. This needs to be settled once and for all. That's how it goes. And they're at a stalemate. And as I, uh, I communicated more with the Stroop and learned more about him and his character, and I watched his movie on YouTube. Go check it out. It's called The Gorge. It's a... Uh, a horror movie made by a, a bunch of local comedians, and it was uh, very funny. Oh, it was a great movie. Not so great as the boots he's catching right now. No. Well, that's the thing. I, in, in talking to him, I, I realized that uh, the Stroop and Jeff Stroop, the man, are two different people. And maybe... Uh, this this outfit here has has been a misfire, and he wants something a little different. So we're gonna see how it plays out. Are you saying there might be a stronger version? Of this I, I mean, maybe. Well, you think the one that was all dressed up would be the? You would think that, but that that may not be the case. Oh, you have hands like Cody Harris. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't take flash to finish. That's right. Maybe he's held back by that. What is that? A robe? But it's full length. Can he see well out of that mask? Could be a little gimmicky. He might not be able to see out that mask. It does have three faces on it. Yeah. Oh, wow. The impressive strength. He's been impressive the times we've seen him. But, uh... It just doesn't feel right. It's like when uh, Cody Rhodes had to play Stardust, you know, and he's, uh, he's stifled in that gimmick. Mm -hmm. You want to see that man be himself a little more than what the gimmick he's supposed to portray. Oh, wow. Just dry. And Shane no slouch in there. No. Shane excels at the Battle Royals. Solid point getter. For the live poet society while that was happening. Oh boy, he's coming no in the hard way by the looks of it. Yeah, it's not going to be good here. Nasty. This is false count anywhere, so there could be a thing anywhere in the arena. Dude, with a disappointment. How many times do I gotta fight this guy? Why won't this guy leave me alone? Well, Shane's a really big Star Wars fan, so. He really wants to be on the same team as Chewbacca and Darth Maul and the Emperor. Slap boxed. Picks him back up. Best press point is money. Where's this man's money? Ever yeah, since you said that, that's all I've heard every time I said Yeah, that. every time. That's <laughs> what it says to me. <laughs> it's just, 
Uh, the trapezius claw doesn't exactly scream that to me in the same way. No. Imagine that, you're trying to get your money back. And just... Oh, where is it? Put a man in the trapezius claw. <laughs> it's looking too funny, I'm throwing an elbow or something. Yeah. Wow. Alright, balls count anywhere, so that was a two count outside the ring. Off a spear? Yeah. Men just that kicked out of a finisher. Shane still has one finisher. Round it out. Ref back in the ring. Yeah, the referee's got a tough job in this one. Oh, right. right into those ropes and everything. But I'm used to hearing when I see that. It always makes me think of the rock ripping on the big shit. Yeah. I want you to go out there and do that one sort of impressive thing that you do. You know, uh, uh, do that. Put your hand in the air. Uh. <laughs> Great. Oh, the slap box. The Rock got away with some stuff that would not fly today. Some lowbrow stuff, yeah, for yeah. sure. Not too long ago, I watched some of The Rock's greatest hits or whatever, and I was like, whoa, he just called that lady a fat pig in the front row. You don't want to do that today. No, no, most certainly not. The Rock would be canceled in today's climate. Bret Hart would still be perfect for that though. Yeah, he'd be fine. Yeah. He's certainly looking in command at the moment. Shawn Michaels, not so much. Well, religious Shawn Michaels or like oh, yeah. DX Shawn DX Michaels? DX Shawn Michaels, definitely not. No. Religious Shawn Michaels, maybe, but not, even that could be over there. Yeah. Oh, choke slam. Sidewalk slam. Yeah, he's right going to go for a pin. Yeah, well out of position. One, two, three. Shane is the winner and beats out the Stroop. She ain't going to put the Stroop away here, and the Stroop is not going to be happy because this is another no situation where his gimmick has cost look. him a match because he can't see out of his mask. So go with that. The robe is too tight. It's restrictive. Yeah, so really, right. it's a misfire by the creative team. Are those leather pants? Probably. Noted in the men's profile that uh, creative has misstepped. Yeah. And we're going to see where this man goes from here. Spear! Shane, in the meantime, winning the Star Wars faction, which will push him even farther away from the Live Poet Society. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's a shame. Now that he captains his own faction. Because I guess they're on the line. I don't know. Stroop doesn't want the Star Wars faction. <laughs> Uh, you know line those guys right up, now, Shane beat them all. They're no good. With this guy. Shane wants them. He can have them. For now. I like Shane's guy. I love that poison mist knee to the temple. Surprisingly, we didn't see that at all this match. No. Nope. He's normally pretty liberal with that move. Very, very generous, yes. Here we go. Part five of five. Heartbreak Jizzle versus the Riddler. Yep. Here we go. Heartbreak Jizzle, a crowd Good favorite here at Mean the Boys Wrestling because of his uh, refusal to partake in Royal Rumbles themselves. and because of his detached oh, moves. These two yep. are about an audience. Oh, oh my god! god. Pop-up Pele kick. What? And the boot to the back. That'll give you sweet dreams and nightmares. That's the one thing about the comic book villains faction that I'd be sad to see go. The what, super moves? The pop-up Pele kick pop from the Riddler. Oh my goodness. It's insane. We've seen it. We saw it, I don't know, a couple weeks back. That and it was replay again. worthy. It looks more like Green Hornet. Not yeah, Green Hornet. Uh, not well, good Green Hornet here. or he's Green Lantern. He looks that. like he's in the middle of filming the animations for Madden 2016. Super kick! Oh yeah! Oh, Jizzle's ready for a second one. Oh yeah, one. he's got the nunchuck leg ready. Super kick! Oh my god! <laughs> Five O run for that backstage the, brawl oh had gosh. something for, for the new DX. The Forget it! Wow! Did you see the drool fly out of his mouth? I did, yeah. And the man got up after it all and hit it's this like, nunchuck knee super kick. You want to kick me in the face? Watch my kick to the face. I ready be. for it? Are you kidding me? Wow. Yeah. You're going to stay. WWE 2K20, the most glitched game in the history of games. You feel good about yourself. You don't not uh, show a super kick a that finishes the Thank match. Song shoe. Anyways, 
The new DX winning this faction war gonna send the comic book villains to the next Your Fired Battle Royal. Very decisively, I might add. And we'll see as the weeks and months go by who's gonna join them. Mm. Not months, weeks. We're gonna definitely do a Your Fired Battle Royal at the uh, live event. Part two of the three stages of hell, yours truly, the block versus DMP in a ladder match. This one promises to be painful. Now we'll see if DMP maybe took any tips from Richie the American Luchador because he excels with the ladders a little bit. This is very true. Oh wow, the block. Look at that. Flexing so hard he had to run out the ring. Yeah. Him a, uh, a, a weapon. Close line. Why are you standing there? You doubled over in pain. Pick up the ladder. Give you some of that action. Put that in the ring. Oh, kick to the back of the head. You ain't like that. Why are you holding your back, sucker? <laughs> now, both these men already fought to a, uh, you know, a no range. power for either guy war in a tables match. And um, DMP is currently burgundy. Yeah. So the health must have maintained. Yeah, yeah, you want to have people run into your match. It's time for me to show you how the militia runs. So shot coming down to lend a hand. Oh, dropped on the ladder. But guess what? The there table specialist Crashing also the has a specialty for disposing of trash. We saw that match go down last week. Phil Shaw and DMP. Yes, that's continuing and carrying over. Now it's another missed opportunity here where Phil Shaw is doing exactly what he should be doing. Just keep that man out of the ring. Look what you're doing. I'm celebrating. Showboating in the ring. You could be halfway up the ladder. All the way. You could be struggling with the mini game right now. Look exactly. at Phil Shaw. Just throwing him out the ring. What what am I doing? Why why is what are you saying to me right now that makes this legitimate? <laughs> it's not Yeah. Not my proudest moment, I'll tell you that much. But like, what the hell? Why would, like, why is that programmed is into the game the for that to happen? Like, like, why, what, what is, I am so lost. Share, Share the, the shock. shock. Share, Share oh, the shock. Just the two? <laughs> just the two, yeah. Phil Shaw looks like he's programmed to interfere to help this man win a ladder match. And all I'm doing is getting into and out of the ring to chase the DMP. Phil Shaw thinks you're an idiot right now. <laughs> I wouldn't blame him for that. Standing him up, then getting back What's into the man? ring. I come out here. If I'm interfering. Pick up the ladder, bro. Yeah. There he goes. Pick up the ladder, fam. Why am I going out the ring? This has got to be an atrocity. This is a comedy of errors. Oh, my goodness. This is just ridiculous. Like, I'm... St there we go. And watch. Now Phil Shaw is not going to be able to throw him out the ring. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Phil Shaw just playing goalie here. For real. He's it up right Doing a great job, right. Mr. Mumbles. Check him out on Vigo Live. Mr. Mumbles 905. Oh, man. Like, this is just remarkable. He How am I going to set attack. up the ladder Dangerous for here, guys. him to... Oh, this is just... It hurts my head. He said throw him over this way. Doss down the ladder. Oh. It's an absolute mess. Like, Phil Shaw has basically left DMP <laughs> in the middle of the ring. Yeah. And all I have to do now is go up the go up the ladder. Here comes Phil Shaw back again for some reason. That's fine. He's I'm done with that. Let's get him. No. <laughs> now that I'm actually doing what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. Phil Shaw is not in the ring. Oh, this is just atrocity. <laughs> Put one of those green balls in, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. EMP hammering away at the top of the ladder. Yep. Look at all those off Keith the Lee signs out there. Uh oh. This is not good. He's about to jump off the top of the ladder. Massive elbow drop. Knocks the ladder down. Uh, you don't want to take too many oh, No. That's a big fella coming down off the top of the ladder. That's a whole lot of weight. Andale, andale. Que pasa? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's what he's shouting right there. Yeah, what did Ray yell? Booyah? Was that him? Booyaka. Booyaka. Yeah. Oh man. So I'm on the ropes right now, and DMP is just disregarding me. The only hope I. Oh man, this is not looking good. 
Is that a top? Oh, diving drop kick. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Oh, okay. DMP's got the ladder now. What is he gonna do with that? Oh my God. That's not. That's not where the ladder. Go oh my God! DMP goes for a double axe handle off the ladder to the outside, but it kind of looked like he missed. It looked like he missed. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was very close. Oh wow! No, no, that's not good. Let's we'll see if he misses with this. It's a six one three. He did not miss. I think that'll do it. Then he did not go to the dark place, and he kicked you right in the groin. Multiple times. Yeah. That's a heel right in the groin. <laughs> yeah. Elbow. Some nasty tactics by Crime Kingdom Consigliere DMP, the demented maniacal psychopath. Formerly of the Live Poets Society, but the turncoat uh, jump ship. Went with Crime Kingdom to be a made man. And he's going after the torso again. That's what you get. Well, it doesn't take a genius to realize you should attack the injured Shit. area. That's shot. All right. Do I see it? Is it? Are we going to bring him in the hard way? We just don't look at him. No, we don't look at him. Just, just going to look. Just going to look at him. Yeah. There just he goes. Check him out. Crashing to the floor. We got whipped off the ring. Now, DMP knows how to set the ladder up and get right down to it when the man's He's thrown outside the ring. Oh, shame it's the ladder match. DMP's going to... Well, maybe he doesn't. He's, <laughs> He's up there. going to do a circle or two before he gets down to business. Yeah. Reach, reach. Oh, distracted for a minute. Oh, wow. This is looking like a signature move from the top. Oh, wow. Swinging neck breaker from the top of the ladder. We don't like that at all. Ian B's gonna hustle right back up. Look at that little scamper up there. Yeah, he got up there quick. He's very close to winning this thing, guys. Huge spot. Let's we'll see how he does right it in any game. Not very well, thank not, you. Not very well, no. The, the consigliere. We need a mini game specialist up in here. Yeah. Oh, what a kiss. Oh, yeah. We're going for a ride today. Super Plex Avalanche. Wow. Wow, oh, the ladder moves happening. Yeah, man. DMP using the ladder like stairs and a platform to the outside. I've never seen that before. That was remarkable. Even though he missed, it was still cool to see. If he landed it, it would have been even more special. See why I cut it in the promo? Yes, exactly why. <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh, oh. When I do those promos, I try to use actual footage from the event so that uh, there can be some Easter eggs and whatnot. Look at that. Yeah, I learned. Ripping through. Oh, no. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. There you go. There you go. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, this is not good. Wow. This is not good for me. Not so friendly neighborhood. Locked down. DMP reaching for the ladder. One ball left to get in. Oh. Tragic. He can't get it, though. There oh. it is. DMP going to win stage two of the three stages of hell in a ladder match. That means we're going to get to see stage three in hell in a cell. Okay. Well. What a shocking surprise. Yeah, that neck breaker might have rattled me a little more than I was willing to admit. But we got him back with that superplex. One to one after two. You never see it. It's just, he got lucky off my hard work at all. That's all. He's got that case, but it, uh, he isn't owning actual money in the bank. He just won that match. Yes. Just to clarify. He just had that as stock. Here we go. More gold on the line. The Million Dollar Championship going to be uh, defended in a triple threat here. Another member of Crime Kingdom. Richie the American Luchador, the made man, the wild card. Versus Local Lou, Niagara's Finest. And uh, Bristow, mm. Dynamite MC from the uh, Niagara Hamilton. or Hamilton? He was with Hamilton, but he came out to Niagara. Oh, okay. And he gets hit with the local letdown from local Luke. Right Did off the hop. Luke going to go for a pin, but the referee way out of position allows uh, the American Luchador time to break it up. Local letdown on the Luchador. Oh my god, local Luke just laid out everybody. Okay. Can this be different? That's either Stop. sheer genius or complete Local Luke came out mad. 
bunny hop. That's what we'll call that thing, bunny hop. Double neck breaker. Wow. You want to take too many of those? You have a short night. Mm -hmm. oh, that's Elbow the impact. Job. Richie the Luchador been the uh, 12K champ for a couple of weeks. I know he likes having that 12K belt. I also know that he wants a shot at Rare Breed. Bristol Breaker. Oh, that would be interesting. Mm -hmm. Those two are uh, good buddies in real life. So we'll make that happen. That's his take though. Oh, Richie's showing all his moves. Yeah, he's holding his own in there. Yeah. Newcomer going up against a couple of vets. There it comes. Reverses the neck kicker. He starts the leg kicks. Oh, a series of low kicks. Oh, Bristol with the punch of the back of the neck. And the shoe shot. Bristol picking his spot, and it was a good one. Desperation, A little sooner, that might have been it. Yeah. Two seconds sooner, and he might have won the, uh, won, won the title here. Yeah. In the meantime, Lou just kicking everybody down. Basically. Oh, the cover. One, two, kick out by Bristol. That's good sound logic, though, by Lou. Wait till both men are down. Go for the one that was down last. Yeah, how many of those opportunities are you going to get, though? Close line. Local Lou still has two finishers. Bristol has none, and Richie has three, so... Well scouted reversal going the way they are, Richie being out the ring, as Local Lou lands this. Oh, my goodness, Local letdown. Got to end the one, two, the ropes. three. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new 12K champion by the name of now Local Lou. Richie the Luchador was beside himself there. He was shaking his head. Mm. Got caught on the outside while Local Lou went for a pin, and it was just enough time to count to three. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to hide my enjoyment of that. <laughs> Although the Lucha Dork wasn't pinned. That's true. He still lost his title. So it's true. You gotta defend it. You gotta defend it. And uh, as always, now that he's lost that uh, 12K title, he's gonna get bumped up a tier into the QLW title situation. Mm -hmm. Currently held by Holden Rhodes, his teammate. So we'll see what happens. Mm hmm. But for now, we celebrate Local Lou, the new 12K, uh, 12K champion, his second time holding that 12K title, mm -hmm. which is, uh, we haven't had a lot of repeat champions at Mean Boys, I'm trying to think now. A couple guys I want to say have held the QLW twice. I'm trying to think if he's the Are first guy to hold the 12K title more than once. I don't remember really hearing about it. Yeah, I think he might be. Oh. A two-time 12K title holder. There you go. Not bad. I like that he's got the Miz's moves, and I like that he's... Uh... What's this? Oh, here we go. We got Holden Rhodes making his way down in his old gimmick because WWE 2K20, the most glitched game in the history of games. Making his way down with the first lady of Crime Kingdom, Mad Moxie, who is the, uh, in Hunt Manor lore, the, uh, the dead ghost wife of Dr. Volcano. Here we go, gentlemen. Huge. And now it makes me wonder what that means for Dr. Volcano. Like, is Dr. Yeah. Volcano a member of Crime Kingdom? Or in all of WWE right now. Who how knows? do we... How do we feel this? Like, is he out of... I mean, we saw some shoving the last couple of weeks. So I guess he's out of, of Live Poet Society. Wow. And it is just raining feces down on me and my my old faction. Maybe he's just a misfit. Maybe. There we briefly get a look at the gentleman holding Rhodes. For no reason whatsoever. And here, we'll find out who the mystery opponent is after the weeks of waiting. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to reveal the mystery opponent. Greg Hamilton, he still works here? Not really. He is right here. Universal just cut him out so he doesn't bitch about us using his lightness. 
That's okay. We'll let West Side Gun deal with him again if he wants round two. That's it. Who we got? Oh. Oh, oh. my God. Brent. That is Brent. Now, Holden's been taking little digs at Brent for for weeks now, talking yeah. about he wants 20% of the money from 420 DNA, and it's a protection thing. It's like it's racketeering. Yeah, it sounds like uh, es not espionage. Oof, to get started here, let me remind everybody that money laundering, extortion, extortion. You know, yeah, crime kingdom. The they're they're There's taking no over me and the boys wrestling with crimes. Doing crimes and being part of crimes, planning crimes, and criminal activities. Yeah, and well, eating really well the along the way. He has to remember what got but this Brent, former me and the boys champion, he can't change not going to go down lightly. The QLW the title is on the line way, here. You wouldn't swing mm. left the and I have a feeling that we're about to watch a war. War of attrition. Crowd loves it. Going crazy in the front row. Brent going to stretch it out. Rocking his own 420 DNA hat. There it is. The QLW title. We get a nice look at that green and gold belt. Introducing and we'll probably get challenger. flagged because I just said COVID-19 on the side there. They're going to have to pounds. fact check me and the boys wrestling. Oh, man. <laughs> Good luck. The champion from Norfolk, yeah, Virginia, fact check something that's fictional. <laughs> Here we go. The American gangster holding Rhodes standing there with his title. You're going to have to give that to the referee. Yeah, yeah looking very punch worthy. He's letting the him know. Has no intention on tonight being their Hand that off to the referee. He's going to keep it safe until the end of the match. And show it to Brent, who's no stranger to holding a title. That's right. And then show it to us. If that scene looks familiar, it's because you've seen it in the promo. 100%. Zoomed in on there, nice. Mm -hmm. And here we go. The QLW title on the line, Brent versus Holden Rhodes. That's bad that's their way of playing that's mind. That's yes, the first lady the right of Crime Kingdom. Look, what good is it being on top of the mountain? Dragging this man into the corner. That is a sad attitude to have. We'll see how Mad Moxie factors in, too. Yeah. she grab a leg or distract a referee. Oof. She'll hit you with a head scissors. Gut wrench toss. We got Crime Kingdom versus Committee Light over here. In full control. Working for control. Crime Kingdom really running away with the points, running away with the gold. Yep. It's Just really running things at me and the boys right wrestling. Controlling the tempo in Meanwhile, I'm control. over here with nothing. Well, I mean, you do kind of have the, the whole roster Boom, under impact. your thumb. I'm over here with nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> They're struggling for control right now in full control. Oh man, it's just madness, the things that are happening right now. In the Facebook group? Oh yeah, like, I mean, like, it's hard to keep up some days, most days. So. Well, the guys jaw back and forth, and it, it, get, it gets out of control. People's feelings get hurt. I was like, okay, I'm going to back off for a little bit because I think I'm being too healed. And then they start tagging me and stuff like they want the smoke. So it's like... <laughs> Mm -hmm. I, that was a super uh, kick. That looked like right that there. kick that like uh, Goldberg hit Bret Hart with. Oh, man, the stiff one? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Big backbreaker. Brent uh, is no leather face. No. No. Not going to go down that easy. No. Oh, what impact. Oh, nasty left oh, hook. Pops up. Oh, what a Just four. swinging those stiff fists. Yeah, he ain't coming to play. Oh, just the leg drop. Dragging him around like he's not in a designer suit. <laughs> I like it. Brent rocking bowling shoes and a Hawaiian shirt. And of course, a 420 DNA hat. 420 DNA. If it's in here, it should be on Thank you. Just like the commercial says. A big stalling suplex. Onto the dawn. Mm, that trapezius hold. Oh, the 
No way that feels good. Even through the suit. Yeah. He's got him here. He's got him up. Outside box. Showing a lot of fury with these. The referee's still all dirty. We're gonna talk to. Him. We're gonna have to have a talk with him about coming to work all disheveled and whatnot. Yeah, wardrobe needs to help him. Oh, that's just disrespect right there. I kind of Brent like just it. stepping on the man's chest. Just what an exploder! Situation. And he doesn't like that with that just exploder. That was a really explosive explode. It did explode. Look at it, it was almost in fast forward. So man shoots. That just echoed throughout this entire okay. arena. Oh, it does have and another finish. This is just one cement shoe. Yeah. Oh, kiss like that. That running throat thrust. It's a nasty move. Still yet to decide if that's legal or not. Oh, the kick out. I assume that it's not and that it's a crime against me and the boys wrestling. So to be a crime. Does he look like an outstanding person? Brent misses with the big boot. But catches him with the bear hug. Oh. And just further adds pressure to his already bruised body. We'll see if he knows the uh, tried, tested, true reversal. Elbow to the ear. Elbow to the neck. Head clap. Looks like he does. Yeah. Once your hands make contact. Oh, massive headbutt. Now Holden Rhodes got the comeback ability activated here. Oh, yeah. Looks like Brent's going to block it and hit that big leg drop again. Yeah. And now he's going to the top rope. What is he doing up there? The splash. Wow, that's a massive splash. Looks like he hurt himself a bit in the process. It also looks like he's preparing for another move. What's he got in mind? Oh, he missed. He missed the big punch. Holding with the jabs. Holding going old school. Shimmy and shake. Hitting him with that stuff that his dad taught him. Oh, yeah. One. Two. Oh, Brent with the kick out. Brent got that intestinal fortitude. Yeah. Definitely putting on the show. Oh, wow. Oh, the winds of change. Taking a play from his buddy Gale's book. Yeah. The champion into the cover. Just tosses Brent. He goes in for the cover. One, two, three. But I'll be. That's going to do it. He's going to get him with the big swing. Ooh. He's going to hang on to that QLW title for a bit longer. Wow. Valiant effort by Brent. Looked like he had him for a bit. Then Holden managed to use crimes to get back into the match. Yep. Wow, look at those. Those are some stiff fists. The shimmy, the shake, the chest punch. Double chest punch. And again, <sighs> exponentially made, you know, powerful by the, uh, the windmilling action. The defibrillator, we'll call that. <laughs> She's got that little spin. Yeah. <laughs> No. There he is, the Dawn. The Dawn of Crime Kingdom standing tall, going to get that belt from the referee. Wants that title. Once it placed on his shoulder, he then just snatches it from the ref. Wow. The Dawn of Crime Kingdom. Yeah, making a name for himself. It's all right. Here we go, DeBlock versus DMP. Yeah, that's right, God mode. <laughs> and again, the uh, the graphic is glitched, as they is the storyline. Oh, no way. Cody Harris comes through the cage and smashes DMP. Entirely just taking him out. And the ref walks through the cage. Just disregarding the fact that there even is a cage. DMP is now in the ring face to face with God for some reason. And this match is underway. The <laughs> block appears out of nowhere. Out of thin air and God just looking on. Like a well timed body slam. 
And notice the power bars. Uh, Cody Harris took a full bar of power off of DMP. I guess that's something that Universe Mode does. He was still burgundy from his previous matches. Yeah, so that's going to put this man at a massive disadvantage here. Well, you see, after the last match, I realized I needed a little bit more player than power. So, you know, with my, my Lord and Savior, I decided I would take this on, and he is whatever with me. It's just that sometimes he's busy with other things. Well, tonight you literally got God in your corner. <laughs> oh, well, hell in a cell. Where better for him to be? And apparently Cody Harris. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> not bad, actually. Not a bad, not a bad team. Uh, double well, there is some bad blood between Cody Harris and DMP. I can imagine. After that, uh, DMP got like a roll-up win almost over Cody Harris. Just a quick... A quick pin and Cody Harris wasn't that happy and he came out that DMP no. Cody Harris didn't place. care, but you know that's probably going to put you on uh, the sanctioned hit list of Prime Kingdom. The splash, culture splash. Yeah, oh man, if that's followed up by the, the block party, shoot to the fifth at the location. And the pin. One, two, three. Would you look at that? How are you going to come back from an attack from Cody Harris, an attack from Phil Shaw? An attack, obviously, from the block. Yeah. How many block parties did he take there? He only took the one, but he definitely got hit over with another the, power move. The over spot. the course of the night? Oh, over the course of the night. Oh, that was like four Three, five. four culture yeah. splashes? Yeah, yeah. Four, five to block parties? Yeah, yeah. He got God against him? Yeah, I mean, just his presence is imposing enough. I didn't see any other members of Crime Kingdom come in for that match. Yeah, you'd think. You'd think they'd have his back like God had mine. Apparently, you could just walk right through the cage, too. Mm. Well, there it is. Three stages of hell. The block's going to win. DMP uh, going to lose this match, mostly due to Cody Harris. Taking away one full power bar at the start of the third stage of hell, so he's not going to be happy about that. Yeah, yeah, well, he can take it up with Cody. I have titles to seek. Here we go, our big main event, a match probably three months in the making. March, March Madness March was the Madness, thing, yeah. so since March, there's been a debate who's the true king of me and the boys wrestling, and it's going to be settled here in a submission match. You mean the guy who beat... 64 other people is it already designated as the true king i mean he is okay because the, the self-proclaimed guy who barely makes it out of the match has a lot of an uphill battle to fight oh definitely it's not going to be easy mm. king champ t lee been the champ for a uh a month now Get ready, guys. A good month or so yeah. been the king for two, two, a few months Gale still holds other. that money in the bank case boy's satchel bag. Yeah, aside from the fact that he, I can't believe I'm saying this, earned this match. He did. He's been on a tear. Yet to lose a submission match. This is kind of his wheelhouse. Yeah. And it makes me wonder if King Champ Tealy maybe got goaded into taking this match a little bit. Um, no. He, as a fighting champ, decided his kingly mannerisms would be put on hold for him to get gritty. Okay. He didn't care, eh? He was just in. No. Nope. It's like, it's a fight. I'm there. Well, there we go. One half of our main event. Self-proclaimed King Gale. And about to enter the arena, the other half of the Crime Pays Free Preview main event. This is and what it's all about. Representing the Militia Boys Championship. New York. King Tilly. With his regal strike. Yeah. Got that nice red suit to match that nice red crown. Yeah, yeah, Guys, this gold match is sure to, to not disappoint, especially considering who's this is what it's all about. Tonight. You're absolutely right, Michael. This match will be one we'll be talking about yeah. for a long time to come. 64 men. I mean, he didn't physically fight 64 men, but it was a 64-man tournament. I mean, he, he beat eight, eight of them. Yeah. But, like, oh, technically, 63 were defeated. The one yeah. thing about him, guys, is that he always shows so. respect for his opposition. Crazy. And I DMP, the runner-up. Easy thing yeah. to do, especially when your opponent is trying and to knock no your head off your through shoulders. the suit. Hmm. He's taking his claim. 
I wonder what they're chanting. Mm. Gale's fired up. He's ready. He's got his tape on his wrists. You Once you get the wrist taped up, that's how you know they need business. Match. Yeah, yeah. We're at a crossroads. We got a submission a match for the title. Here. here we go. That's how King Tilly does. Control the tempo. Slapple. Smush him like cider and apple. Controlling the tempo. And at the same time, Working we got mainstream control. militia versus crime Ooh, king. That's the impact. Yeah, Working we have our control. way of making it to the main stage. Yeah. We've seen a lot of the mainstream militia tonight. Yep. All factions putting on a good show, except for the comic book that went to that wash. Yeah, the they absolutely didn't. The uh, movie maniacs didn't fare so well either. No. Okay. Ooh, what impact. A hip toss. Pig Tilly not liking that, but no stranger to being oh, the forearm smash. Oh, ooh. Ooh. It's definitely a stranger to that. You don't throw hands at a king like that. I mean, Gale talks a lot, but he's been backing it up in the ring lately. Ooh, rolling neckbreaker. Do we call it the rattle shake roll, rattlesnake roll? Sure. Shake rattle sneak and roll. <laughs> shake rattle snake and roll. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, King Tilly guy. Elbow to the top of his head. Right in the crown. You think that was hurt last month on it, but yeah. Kick. Really Odd decision to wrestle with the crown. <laughs> well, you know, you got the weight on the world on your shoulder. What's oh, the my extra God. Extra weight on your head. <laughs> mm. Just lays out the self proclaimed king with a knee to the side of the head. But not nice. What's he got in mind? Ooh. That was a hip toss neck breaker. Like a hip cutter? Yeah. Oh, oh boy. Dealey's got a good moveset. Definitely. And that's the thing, his matches don't usually go on long enough for you to see. Yeah. But, like, with this, spinning sit-down powerbomb. Come on. That's why he's a king. I don't mind making a concession. Sleeper hold. Look at his power meter. Go down. He's cranking it. Well, you can't see it, people, but we can see it. Shout out to our house show viewer who didn't spoil the results of the big main event. Yep. What's coming next? Taking their time. Ooh. Splash. Crossbody. Yeah, power bar super even still. We got ourselves a match here. Sleeper hold. Oh man, and it's in the middle of the ring, so there's no chance for a rope break. He's cranking that neck. Oh, can you imagine the impact of that crown to his jaw though? Big reversal. Okay. Rising knee. Okay. Tilly. Oh, kingdom come. I like that. Wow. My kingdom come. Yeah. <laughs> Rolls this man over. Puts you into dream world. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's setting up for something. Got a stanky leg there for a little bit. You saw that, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, Corey, look at this. Pump handle. Here it is. Oh, man. Meet him at the pay window. Oh, what did we call Let that? Let me tell you, the human body the was final not cut? meant to be slammed oh, like that. Something like that. Off final. with his head. The final something. Yeah. Off with his head's good now that he's the king. Yeah. There's a dragon screw from the self proclaimed king. Yeah. Ooh, solid punch. Uh oh. To the back. Oh, this is not good. He's got it locked. The chicken wing is locked in. And he has another finisher. He just hit the rope, yeah, ref. Yeah, he just hit the rope. rope. Ref, he just hit the rope twice, ref. Ref. Do you think the zombie ref is on the tape? Foot stomp. Well, it is Crime King. It is Crime Pace, right? They have a whole paper you named after them. Spin out. Oh, my goodness. Oh. The zombie referee is on the take, and that is going to be a problem. Oh, my goodness. That move needs a name. Back in from the floor. It is a pretty good power bomb. Yeah. You can call it dysentery. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, again with the punch of the back. Gail's got it locked in again. The chicken wing on this King Champ Tilly. This is not good, but King Champ Tilly. Wow. King Champ Tilly taps to the chicken wing from Gail. Oh, wow. That is a surprise. Submission specialist. The Crime oh, Kingdom enforcer. And now, me and the boys. Champion.
I think that's something. I knew! King Champ Tilly fighting valiantly through one chicken wing. Oh, uh, man. This was a war. Yeah, definitely. There you see the tap right there. I thought for sure he was going to spin and hit that rope, but... And let's not forget the... Uh... In the first Gets chicken win, King Champ Teeley touched the rope at least twice. Yeah, there's controversy on that. Yeah, there's, there's definite controversy on that. The zombie referee just stood there, so now we got to look at why. First of all, why is he all disheveled and have grass stains? Like, I don't get it. And is he on the take? He's got to be. I can, hit the rope uh, twice. I can close this and come back to us and tell you that that was a hell of a free per view event definitely that we had here at me and the boys wrestling and i want to thank you so much for watching with us please like the video share the video subscribe to the channel watch every thursday join the facebook group me and the boys wrestling the only heels facebook page for all sorts of fun just kind of crap posting about wrestling and trolls yep. um do all the things this man's about to tell you as well. Yes, check us out every Wednesday on ShareTheShock.ca for our live stream of cult, uh, sorry, Candid Conversations at 6 p.m. And also check us out every Saturday on ShareTheShock.ca at 12 p.m. for the Terrell Effect. Both shows feature some of the latest from the soon-to-be-greatest, one with interviews, one with music. I have officially launched... My radio station, ladies and gentlemen, right now it is strictly playing yours truly, but if you would like to get on the air with Culture Shock Radio, then message me and I will give you the information as to what is required. You will soon hear the likes from the POE, uh, private name, private number, Ezza, and Johnny Armani, and more. So, oh, and Pluto, Pluto Hunt. So there's, there's more coming out for you. Um, check us out also every Thursday me and the boys wrestling we're here doing the thing making major moves so like subscribe share add tell people and come back every week we got more for you check out our sponsor www.420dna.com if it's in you it should be on you we'll see you next week actually we're taking a week off scratch that we're taking a week off we'll yeah. see you in two weeks We'll probably do something. A little something, something. Like it's a little promo sauce, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, maybe some raw footage. Maybe I'll talk about how disgusted I am with the current state of me and the boys wrestling now that Crime Kingdom I mean, is... You haven't done a State of the Union address yet, so maybe... It's true. Yeah, maybe it's about time. I should air my grievances mm -hmm. with Crime Kingdom and how things played out with my faction and all that. Yeah, because they now have all the titles, except for the quarantine titles, so... And the 12K title. And the 12K title, so they have, like, four out of the... Apparently, crime pays.